We're standing in front of the monument of John Patterson. This is a, the only monument to this man. And who was John Patterson? He was born in Ireland. He came, comes to Canada in uh, 1867. He only goes to school for one year here and leaves the family and uh, goes out on his own. He was a, a, a salesman for multiple uh, um, businesses in Hamilton. One of them was the Wanzer uh, Sewing Machine Company. And uh, he would go all over the place to try to sell these uh, uh, things for uh, the established businesses here. He was the idea man. He kept doing all sorts of things. He set up a, a, a lumber yard here in Hamilton uh, to supply uh, the building boom that was going on. Then he met uh, four other guys named John and uh, they became the five Johns of Hamilton and this is one of the five Johns, John Patterson. They came up with an interesting idea and they took Tesla's idea of alternating current and produced hydroelectric power at the DeCue Falls, skipped the uh, uh, alternating current to Hamilton and Hamilton became the electric city because of this man's idea of using Tesla's theory of alternating current. Westinghouse uh, gave them money to do that and that's why we have Westinghouse here in Hamilton in the turn of the century. Now, he didn't stop there with what that was doing with the, the electric uh, system just changed Hamilton completely. But he had soft coal mines in Pennsylvania. He set up his own Patterson Railway to bring that soft coal from Pennsylvania to Hamilton. He sold the coal to Stelco and they could produce steel. The coke that was the byproduct of that, he reused it. And the sludge and the tar that came from the coke, he sold back to the city of Hamilton so they could use it as tar on the roads. All the byproducts, right from the, the product from the ground to the product on the roads, he used it over and over again and made a lot of money. He was married, uh, he, and, but they had no children. His house still exists on the corner of James Street South and Young Street here in Hamilton. And that's the only object that people would know that this man, the idea man, for the electricity to come to Hamilton for the very first time is still in existence. The other one is this monument. At one point there was a street named after him, but it was down by uh, Central Park, uh, just north, uh, south of Barton, and uh, it disappeared. Now this man is the guy that brought electricity to Hamilton.